Hamish, it seems a long way from playing elite sport, as you are, to just hopping in a car on the, to go home, but maybe there are some real parallels. Yeah, there's certainly some um, comparisons, I suppose, you can make between the two, and um, you know, certainly the, the mental side of, of both of those things, playing elite sport and driving, um, certainly for an extended period of time, can, can come into play. So. so you have to look after yourself when it comes to fatigue on the ground. Well, what could we take from that as we hop in a car? Yeah, so... You know, when uh, the game starts to get a bit tough and, you know, mentally we're not 100% you know, switched on, that's when we come off for a rest, um, recover, um, make sure the body's right, make sure the mind's right uh, before we go back out on the ground. And I guess driving a car for an extended period is exactly the same. You need to be able to um, chill out for 15 minutes, half an hour, just refresh the mind, um, you know, to go on and, and drive safely again. What happens to you on the field if you do overdo, if you get too far into the red zone? Uh, oh look, I, uh, I don't take in um, the strategy of the game. I don't um, set up in the right positions. Uh, you know, my peripheral vision and just general awareness can uh, waver slightly. So um, all those types of things can be affected. They all apply, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's exactly the same with driving a car as well. You you need to be 100% focused on you know the task um, to get you know the ideal result, which is obviously to arrive at your destination safely. What about preparation? Uh, you obviously, you can't go into a game without having thought about it a lot, and yet we tend to just jump in the car. Should we maybe take a bit of that with us too? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, you know, not only do you have to worry about yourself and how you're um, driving and performing, I guess, on the road, but um, you need to be wary and conscious of everyone else around you as well and the way they're driving. What about um, the impact of serious crashes? Have, uh, has it come Close to home for you? Um, yeah, I guess uh, my ex uh, SNFL football club at West Adelaide um, unfortunately have lost a couple of their uh, junior players over the last decade or so through um, serious car crashes. So it does hit home um, in that respect. And you know, you see the, the effect that it has on not only their family, but um, the extended community, the whole football club and their friendship group in particular. Um, yeah, it, uh, it certainly you know, uh, shoots home the, um, how important it is to drive safely. Mm. I mean, wearing a seatbelt is a, is a given for most of the population, but we just struggle to get through to the final few percent. I guess, again, that sort of relates back to preparation and the way you have to prepare. Yeah, I mean, it's so simple. Um, and people, I guess, just assume that if they're travelling a short distance, then they don't have to worry about it. But, um, you know, if I was only kicking the ball, say, 15, 20 metres, I have to be, you know, switched on and 100% focused on that task. And um, something as simple as putting a seatbelt on um, could save your life. So um, you, you're silly not to do it. Out there, it's serious. You've got to make the right decisions. You've got to be switched on and ready to go. And if you want to be a game changer, you can't afford to lose focus, not even for a second. You need to be aware of what's around you and anticipate what's going to happen next. Just one moment of indecision. One lapse in concentration. One slip up and your whole world can change. 